When I first started playing guitar, I wanted to play everything that I heard on the radio. I didn't dif differentiate between any kind of genre, you know, because I grew up listening to a lot of great music that my parents had, you know, in their collection. So I played everything that was on the radio. When I, when I first got into a band, my, my position was playing guitar. And uh, I, I got into the singing thing by, by fault. So to, so to speak, because uh, we had an audition once in the first band I was in, and, and the, uh, the, lead, the lead, not the first band I was in, but one of the bands I was in a little bit later on, and the lead singer quit before an audition, and uh, <laughs> I was left to, 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 to handle the job. Well, when we started the Robert Cray Band in 74, um, those were, that was part of my duty. And it, it, didn't, it didn't come easy, and it still doesn't come easy, because I think, you know, being a front person um, it takes a little bit of moxie to be up there, and, you know, a little bit of, you know, sass and all that stuff, which was something, and still is something that I don't really carry very well. Um, and uh, in the early days, I would sing the songs, but our bass player, Richard Cousins, would introduce the songs because he could talk to people and I couldn't. <laughs> Well, the new album is called This Time, and uh, we, we did it, we recorded it in January of, of 2009, but prior to the recording of the record, we made some personnel changes in the, in the band. We brought in Richard Cousins, who was the original bass player in the band, and also on drums, Tony Bronigal. I first met uh, Robert and Richard back when they first started the band, when I was playing with Bonnie Raitt back in the 80s. I knew Robert and knew the guys in the band for a few years before I joined. We were actually kind of friends. I would say we were friends. Had a lot of mutual friends in California. Uh, I lived in San Francisco. They kind of went up and down the coast a lot, so worked up and down the coast. So I would see them a lot. So we all became friends. And in your tale, I just ain't by yet. We knew we were going to go into the studio in January, so at the same time we started you know, bringing in songs and everybody brought in some songs. Once again, a lot of freedom. We all kind of worked cooperatively together. Uh, Robert produced a record, but really we all kind of had a say musically and, and, and he likes it that way. You know, Robert's listening to Indian music and we're listening to the music here and we're borrowing th you know, things and I mean listening to it, you can hear it, it comes up all the time, things are little, little pieces are quoted and, and so that was the main objective is, you know, is to have some material for ourselves and, and to see you know, what the new band was going to sound like. So we're bringing in material, Richard brought in something, Tony brought in something, Jim brought in something and, and uh, we just put our new, band, our new band's music together. I, I opt for live versus the studio. I mean, I like the opportunity to, uh, to, you know, to change things that you already know on a nightly basis or, when, you know, whenever you're performing. I kind of like to get to play live for me the most because you, you can hear them sing differently all the time and all, all kinds of things happen live. But the studio is a very different creature and you're trying to do something very differently in there. So I don't dislike that, but if I had to choose between one or the other, I'd play live. And, and when, every night when we hit the stage, we're serious. We're very serious. Well, I, when, when, I, when, I was, when I first started playing, that's all I wanted to do. And I never, I, I never thought of any time where I wasn't going to play guitar. And I didn't even think about really any other any other occupations, you know. I had to do other jobs, but that was something, you know, to keep me going, playing guitar. But still, to, 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 to get another chance to do this this way is really exciting to play with Robert, because he's one, one of the absolute greatest guitar player singers in the world. Yeah. 